Okay, check this out. Microsoft just announced a groundbreaking development in the world of personal computing, a new line of AI powered PCs. And this is really cool. These cutting edge machines have the potential or promise to completely change how we interact with our computers. They are offering advanced AI features that run seamlessly on Windows without quickly draining battery life, which is a huge issue. Now, while the idea of AI powered computers may sound simple, I mean, we have AI powered everything it feels like. It's actually a very complex engineering challenge. Now, in the past, running AI models on personal computers has been limited by processing power and battery constraint. I mean, if you search for AI on PC, you'll find many attempts to integrate AI into computing, but most have fallen short due to performance issues and rapid drain on the battery. So the burning question on everyone's mind since the drop yesterday about these new AI PCs is will Microsoft's new AI PC finally deliver on the promise of seamless, efficient AI integration in personal computing? I mean, will these machines revolutionize the way we work, create, and interact with our computers? I mean, that is the potential they have. Now, before we answer those questions and dive into the impact on these AI PCs, let's take a step back and look at the technology behind them and the journey Microsoft has taken to bring this vision to life today. Now, taking a look back, Microsoft strategically partnered with Qualcomm Chip, and this was to develop the Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus processors and these chips are designed to run AI tasks efficiently without draining the battery life. Then we have Copilot Plus, and these new AI PCs of Microsoft's will of course feature Copilot Plus, and this has been probably in the works for so long when we think about how we use and interact with Copilot today. Okay, that's probably the coolest part of the hardware that we are using, moving to new chips. And it's really important to note, I was just reading about this, that Apple moved all its Macs to its own ARM chips a few years ago. And with that change, it really helped uh, modernize or change everything we hated about computers. It really helped their machines become more quiet, cool, and batteries have a long life. So now with Microsoft Snapdragon X, they are based on more efficient ARM architecture, or that's what they're saying. Speaking of what they're saying, the company is claiming the new surfaces are 58% faster than the M3 powered MacBook Air, which is really interesting. I need to get my hands on one of these. Okay, let's move on to the software though. We talked a little bit about Copilot, but this to me was one of the coolest things that they introduced. It's called Recall. So you know how it goes. You take a note or take an image, put it on your computer and it's never to be seen again. I mean, I use, I'm on, on my MacBook and I use my Finder all the time. And a lot of times it just goes into oblivion and I have to re-download it, retype it out, whatever the case is. So with Recall, Windows will actually capture everything that's on your screen. Then it will use their generative AI model to process and be able to search it all. And Windows assures that all of this monitoring or screenshots of your actions will never leave your computer. Okay, hi, it's me, Tiff from the future. I know I look crazy because I'm literally sitting in bed right now on like four hours of sleep editing this video for you to release it tomorrow. Well, today when you watch it. But I feel like we really didn't, I didn't do a great job on honing in on how significant this recall is. So I wanna share more about it with you. So Windows is saying this essentially is introducing a memory to the computer, like a photographic memory into what you do on the PC. And it's essentially semantic search over your entire history. And they go on to say that it's not just about documents or notes, they can actually now recreate moments from the past. Okay, so it's pretty cool as you can tell, but here's how it works technically speaking. Windows will constantly take screenshots of what is on your screen, what you are working on. I know it kind of sounds weird, but it's just, just hang on here. And then we'll use a generative AI model right on the device with the MPU. And it's able to process all of that data right on your PC, which is pretty incredible. Then what it will do with that data once it processes Processes it is it will make it searchable, which includes your photos. I'm not ready for the future. It's coming too quick. A cool example of this is when they searched up for a brown paper bag and there was no label or text that said brown paper bag, but it was able to identify in images what was an actual brown paper bag. Now it's even addressed in the interview with Wall Street Journal that this could be a little bit creepy to some people. I mean, Microsoft constantly taking screenshots of what you're doing. And they summarize it up by basically saying that yes, they acknowledge that, but you know, that is your computer, it is your recall. It's not going in the cloud, it's not going anywhere else, it's, it's all yours and that it's all being done locally. I don't know. It's really interesting to me and it definitely is a step forward. I think a big step forward. I think we're going to see a lot more innovations with it. I just, the whole screenshots on your computer thing kind of got me feeling a little bit weird. I mean, not like anything weird goes on by computer by any means or anything, but 
it does feel a bit invasive. However, I do think, you know, even as I'm saying this, even when we started using ChatGPT, it felt invasive. We just kind of start being accustomed to tech being so intertwined and so accessible to all of our information, all of our data, and because it makes our lives so convenient. So I think initially the, you know, people, like people, the audience for Microsoft will have this adverse reaction of this is going too far with the privacy. Maybe, maybe some won't. But I do think we will very quickly become used to it and just like all tech, evolve. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this though. Oh, my room service is here. But here's where it really gets interesting. Yes, this AI PC is brilliant. It's super cool in my opinion and will change the way we work. We are able to interact with AI, find things more efficiently, work more efficiently. It's really going to change everything. It's a really big deal. But what's an even bigger deal is this, the race that this will put on all big tech to build out AI powered computers. I mean, I can guarantee all big tech companies once they saw this announcement are already working on an AI powered computer. And if not, they need to because they're gonna fall behind otherwise. I mean, imagine being able to be typing in your notepad and just generate an image that can go along with your notes or ask Copilot for help while you're working on an email or working on a notepad. The possibilities are limitless and it's going to change honestly everything. But on the flip side though, it can be a bit scary. This will really bring AI close to us, closer to us even so, and that it's threaded throughout our workflows. And this could be a good thing. I mean, critics always say it could be a negative thing in the sense of, are we relying too much on technology to do the thinking for us? What will we be needed for? Are we just going to waste away our brains? That's not my opinion, but that definitely is a real opinion of many. And it's something to really take into note, looking at both sides of the equation. Okay, but how does this technology work? Like what really is going on? So let's take a look back at what computers typically work off of, which is CPUs, a graphics processing unit and the GPU. Now it's time to welcome MPU or better known as neural processing unit. This is the next wave of computing. And when I'm reading online, you can think of it kind of like an AI accelerator. Now, Wall Street Journal is reporting that it's optimized for handling complex AI tasks right on the computer. Hence, AI PC. Okay, this is changing very quickly. And if you are interested in future tech, coding, career, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. I will be covering it moment by moment, minute by minute. I'm curious to hear actually, are you currently a PC user or do you use a MacBook? What, what technology, what computer do you currently use? And how is this going to impact you? Would you use an AI powered PC? I mean, I really believe we all will be using AI powered computers in the very near future, which makes it interesting to think about the way we will work, the way we will code, build different things. There's a lot of questions left unanswered, but the key thing here is to stay on top of what is coming out, what is happening, and that is what I am here for. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more good stuff, all the tech stuff, and I'll see you soon.